Okay, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to go over what I believe to be what I feel is a very interesting and quickly evolving topic um, using machine learning and artificial intelligence, which is a more broad term for machine learning in a sense, uh, for SEO purposes. I'm by no means an expert in this. This is my goal this year is to do get a lot better with machine learning uh, and AI and this type of thing. So I'm about two, three months in, but I, I'm getting a pretty good grasp on it. Um, if you want to see more videos that, like this, or if you have any ideas of things you want to see, just let me know. Uh, put it in the comments below. Every tool I go over here, I'm going to mention in the comments below. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> first thing you want to do, let's say I'm selling I'm selling nutritional supplements. So I might be selling something vitamin D related. So what I like to do, I like to try to rank my content pieces in from within my content pieces where I upsell my products and services. It's not that outrageous. It works pretty good. So which first thing you want to do, first thing you want to do, now th th I have a whole other video I'm putting together on how to come up with um, questions and topics to write about. But let's say you determine you want to write about this, right? So the first thing I would do, I would just Google it because you basically want to see what the top results are and you want to take what seems to be working, what what they all have in common and apply that to the content that you're writing, right? So if they're all between 800 and 1200 words, you probably should be in that range somewhere, for example. So the first thing I do is I put it in um, and I look at the top results. I'll look at the now, if I want to determine if I can rank for it, this is, I have a whole process in this that I'm going to put up. I look at the domain authority. So 61, 87. Now, this isn't a Google metric. This is a third-party metric. But if all these top 10 results have really high authority, then it's probably not something you want to write for because it's kind of, you're going to have a, have a hard time ranking for it. And I'm going to get into that in a lot more detail in another video I put out soon. So, so the first thing I would do is where does vitamin D come from? That's a really interesting topic right now. I like to write about topics that are topical. Because right now this is related to coronavirus and staying healthy from COVID. Um, this is a question you could post into the trending Twitter hashtag, you know, hashtag coronavirus, hashtag COVID, and you're going to get clicks on it. For example, I have a lot of content, things related to holidays, let's say Christmas. I post my Christmas related con content when Chris hashtag Christmas is trending on, on, um, on Twitter. So I wouldn't get links to that content unless it was trending. So you have to create a lot of content pieces around fresh topics, holiday topics, things that are trending. So you have to you have to pay attention to that. So anyway, so what I do, first thing, where does vitamin D come from? First thing I would do is what's the broad topic we're talking about here? It's vitamin D. I like going to Wikipedia using my SEO Quake free extension and seeing what because a lot of the original AI, as I understand it, for their corpus, now a corpus, as I understand it, is basically a, a lot of information that's used to train an AI model. So page info, let's see. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but you want to pay attention to the headers used, all this kind of stuff. But let's see what keywords, obviously vitamin, health. So you probably want to use health. You can see it appears 0.4% of the time. So that's not really that that much. So vitamin D of vitamin journal of, so you probably want to include journal, something about a journal in your content piece. Okay, you definitely want to go over to vitamin D deficiencies. That appears 0.5% of the time, which is pretty low. But these are things you just need to start putting into a spreadsheet. These are the topics you're going to want to cover. Vitamin D jump to vitamin. So definitely the thing that sticks out from what I just saw is vitamin D deficiency and the vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. So I would write those down. So the first thing I always do is go to the Wikipedia page on the topic, right? Uh, another thing you can do, and I have a whole other video on this through tool. It's a free tool for 10 scrapes per month. And I chatted with the guy, uh, Samuel, who put this together. He's a really, really smart guy. So definitely support this tool. And I will put a link to it in the, um, in the description below or in the comments or description below. So you put in your search phrase and it scrapes the SERP. So these are the top 10 results, right? Did I search for it yet? Okay, let me scrape this up. Let me go ahead and pause this while it's going. Okay, so I put in where does vitamin D come from? I, it basically is scraping the SERP or the search engine results pa results page, and you can get all kinds of good information. Word average, fifteen Im images on page, and I'm not going to get too much into this either. But you can click on it, get all kinds of good stuff. I like to see the titles, like what are the keywords being used in the titles here? Headings, H heading heading ones, heading twos, description. So this is meta description stuff. So these are keywords you're going to focus on. So you just need to copy these to a spreadsheet, and um, and see what keeps appearing. Um, 
appearing regularly. So that's that. So that that's I have a whole other video I'm putting together that goes into a lot more detail on this. But let's specifically get to the Google um, NLP API. So oddly enough, for me, it doesn't work in Chrome. <laughs> it works in Firefox or Internet uh, Edge or Microsoft Edge. So that's what we're going to do. So I like to look at the top results because another thing, always pay attention to people also ask. If I was writing this content piece, I would, if it makes sense, now it doesn't always make sense, I would probably make these as sections. Like this could be an H2 and H2 and H2 and H2 or H1, whatever. But these are, because these are questions people are actually asking, right? There's also a people also ask scraper. I'll put that in the notes below so you can so you can see where that's at. And I'm not going to get into that in too much detail. So I take the top results because those apparently ha are doing it right. And what I do is I just take it, take it and copy it. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to see how Google's NLP, so natural language, natural language processing API, because I'm assuming the search engine probably hooks into this, that this, uh, their, their search engine uh, uh, hooks into, does something like this on the back end, right? So what I want to do, I take the top five to 10 results. I mean, you could do 30, just depends on how, how much, depends on how much time you have. Let me zoom in here for you. So there's multiple sections. So these are entities, sentiment, syntax, categories. So the first thing is entities. This is where I spend the most time. These are words that appear, and I may not be using the exact terminology, that this ha this word person has a very high saliency in this document. So this is a word now person, you got to use common sense. So person is not really something that I mean, it's kind of a generic word. So that's not that's not that big of a deal. So Carl in Sog in Sogna. So has it still a 0 0.02, but it's not it's not a zero saliency, right? So this is this is probably the guy who first synthesized or whatever the word is vitamin D. So I would definitely include this person in it when I, for, if I was writing this content piece. Calcium, I would include that. Vitamin D, obviously. Now, at the end, you want to put your content piece in here and see how it's classified. Because if you have a something like this, and it says, it thinks David J. Leffel is a, you know, like a verb or something like that, something other than a person, you want to go link to this person's Wikipedia page so it can identify this person properly. Um, let me see. So like MD, so it knows if you go here, this goes to the medical doctor Wikipedia article, I'm sure. I'm actually making an edit here because I totally missed something when I was recording the video. As I was pointing out MD here, you see how it points, it thinks this is a location. So this would be a good opportunity to link this because this probably means medical doctor to link this to the, the, the uh, so it understands this isn't Maryland, this is medical doctor. So if I identified vitamin, as a person, then you could go and link to the vitamin Wikipedia page so to help it understand, okay, this isn't a person, this is actually about a vitamin. So you wanna put these keywords into a spreadsheet and see which one starts popping up over and over again. So let's take the second one. So this is the second search result, seven effective ways to increase, increase vitamin D levels. So it's important, I get a lot of, I get a lot, I have a lot of success by writing content pieces for that have no answers, things that like I wrote a lot of stuff on coronavirus when it first came out and things that are trending, like I said, holidays and stuff like that. So you can see, so these are the entities. You wanna look at the ones with the highest. So obviously vitamin D, vitamin D body. Okay, I'd write that down. Vitamin D levels. Okay, I would talk about levels. Mushrooms. Okay, I'd wanna see what, what it, so why does it think this is important? You gotta use some common sense, right? Um, Cause it may be identifying this wrong. Right, vitamin D skin. So I'd do skin, vitamin D products. So that'll give you an idea. So the next thing you want to do is come to sentiment. Sentiment tell, says this document has a neutral sentiment. Zero is totally neutral. As you go above zero, it's it's positive. If you go below zero, it's negative. So it's just basically saying that this. In fact, vitamin D deficiency estimated to affect 13% of the world's population. So the Google, the engine behind this, thinks this is a has a negative sentiment. So it's 0.3. And it is kind of like if you have a deficiency, that's kind of negative. Here are seven effective ways to increase. So that's pretty positive, right? So I don't really, I don't at this point get caught up on every little sentence. What I do is make sure, okay, and this oh, here is the magnitude. So how confident is it that this is a, a neutral document? 
It's 18.3. So that's, that's pretty good. I've seen it as high as like, I, I think like 50, but it probably goes higher. Like I said, I'm still learning this as I go along. But so when I write my document, I go back and I paste it in here. And if it comes back thinking my document is negative or is overly positive, when all the other results are neutral, then I got to change it around. And you can find out which ones are overly negative by looking at these. And those are ones you might want to remove, right? Um, so syntax. This is something I haven't really dug into yet. It basically shows like relationships between words, like effective links to this, to noun, it's a verb, all this kind of stuff. I don't know how this would... This is something I'm going to get into. It's not, it's not just keywords, it's relationships and what like using prepositions. And I, I'm going to get into that in my other video as well. You can use like keyword.io and see what words commonly appear next to other words. And that's something you can take into account because that's what Google's expecting. And then finally, category. So category is good because you want to see if all of the top five or 10 results appear in the health, nutrition, vitamin, supplements category with a point. So this is a pretty confident, it's pretty confident appears in this category. If you look at yours and your appears in some other category, then that's going to be a huge problem because Google's not classifying it properly and you need, need to go back and rewrite it, right? So as I, so I take all this stuff, I take people also ask questions. I go and look at all the, the headers. Let me see if I still have through open. I was going to show you something. Okay, I don't have it open. So, but I like to, you'll, you'll start to see headers that are common. Like they all top of the top 10 results, seven of them might have a header that says like, why is vitamin D important or something like that. So that's something you want to include. Now, as I'm writing it, I like to also use this text optimizer extension. Because what this is, this is comes from this, whatever company is behind this text optimizer. I don't know where it pulls this from, but these are categories. So this is from this text over here. But as you're writing it, just pop this up and it's going to say, okay, these are words that you've used, but these are words that naturally appear next to the words you've used. So you might want to look into supplementation, calcium absorption, and there's just a ton of them. So you just kind of have to go through it. And you don't necessarily have to write all these down, obviously, because it would be crazy. What I'm at the point now is I can just eyeball them and see, oh, okay, that one said bone health. So let me do this other one here, text optimizer. And if you notice ones peering over and over again, like vitamins, okay, obviously supplement, that was in the previous one. So I definitely would include supplementation. So when I'm writing my content pieces, I don't write it first, then go optimize it. I get my topics, I get my questions, I get my headings, I get my keywords, and I structure my content around all that stuff. So let me read my notes and make sure I covered everything. And I believe I did. That's basically it. Um, if you if you enjoyed this video, if you found this useful, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. It's a new channel. I'm really going to do a lot of videos on some pretty more advanced SEO topics going forward. Um, I'm not going to get into like the, the, some of the. I'm not going to post something that everybody knows generally. You know, it's something that's kind of new, kind of on the. Um, up and coming type things. That's things I'm going to focus on. So hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, get some good information and let me know if you have any questions. See you.